If you think that your Gore-Tex jacket is dead, well, then you're dead wrong. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Gore-Tex actually approached me to make a video about how to care for your Gore-Tex jacket. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. I didn't know I have to care for my Gore-Tex jacket. Who cares for a 300 plus dollar jacket? It should just be good all the time. But it turns out that it's not. You warned me, Gore-Tex. Whoa, no, wait. You were right. And that's what we're gonna learn about today. Great, here we go. All right. This is my show, gosh darn. What's up, folks? Don't have folks. <laughs> Did I say folks? I'm sorry, I'm from Virginia. What is Gore-Tex? So Gore-Tex is a waterproof breathable membrane or fabric that is often laminated onto another material that is treated with a DWR or a durable water repellency. So basically what you have is something that keeps you dry from rain, but also allows your sweat and heat to leave so you stay comfortable. Just to round out my knowledge and make sure that I had like the most complete understanding, I decided to talk to someone from Gore-Tex. Hi, Christy, it is nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, Miranda. So in your words, what is Gore-Tex? Gore-Tex is an expanded polytetrafluoroethylene polymer. Expanded polytetrafluoroethylene. It's a material, we actually take it and we expand it to create pores and it makes a product that's both waterproof and breathable. So that's what the Gore-Tex membrane looks like. And then we take that white membrane and we bond it, in this case, to another layer. This is so cool. And it works because of the temperature difference between your body and outside. And that makes it breathable. We often remind customers that they have to wash their jackets, but I realize that I don't actually know why. All waterproof fabrics are treated with a water repellency. Well, over time, that fabric would no longer bead up water. Uh, we recommend washing, use liquid detergent, and then put it in a dryer on warm for like 20, 30 minutes. That heat of the dryer just kind of takes the chemical, the water repellent treatment, and moves it around on the yarns. Um, oh. So it brings it back to life, just the heat. So just wash it with detergent, like any detergent? Just any? Yeah, absolutely. And wash it with it. any detergent. And you don't have to retreat it. There is some aftermarket water repellent treatments. I would start with the heat of the dryer first. So my Gore-Tex jacket is guaranteed to keep me dry. But then when the DWR wears out, I feel wet. What actually causes this to happen? The wetting out of the fabric can be caused by many different things. It can be abrasion. It can be contamination from smoke, from sunscreen, from bug spray, and just wet, you know, your oils on your hands. So when it feels wet, a lot of times it's just that DWR that's no longer working. I challenge you to, you know, take a new jacket, try and accelerate a decrease in water repellency over time. I really appreciate you sharing all your knowledge with me and with everyone who's watching. Thanks, Miranda. Great to meet you. So after talking to Christy, I now know that I should be washing my Gore-Tex jacket way more often, that I don't need to use any special detergent, and I also learned that I should be putting it in the dryer as like the most important aspect. So Christy has given me this challenge to basically try and fast track the degradation of the DWR. So yeah, I'm gonna do it for science. I feel crazy right now. <laughs> Let's do it. I got jacket. And now I'm gonna ruin it. I'm sorry. Sunscreen? Bug spray? all the times my mom asked me what I did at work today. I'm like, well, mom, I rubbed a rock on a jacket, rolled in some dirt, sprayed myself in sunscreen. What did you do, mom? <laughs> What's up, friends? We're back. <laughs> Sorry. 
Gore-Tex challenged me to really stress and degrade the DWR on a Gore-Tex jacket as quickly and as aggressively as I could, and you watched me do that to this jacket that I'm wearing. I rolled down a hill, I rubbed it in dirt, I sprayed it with sunscreen, with bug spray, all sorts of things that will happen to a jacket over time, and then told me that I could wash it and dry it and basically bring it back to new. So I could just spray this degraded Gore-Tex jacket with a spray bottle and watch as the water soaks into the sleeve or into the jacket, but there's no fun in that. So... I made this! <laughs> I built an obstacle course! You're probably wondering why my plan is to run my degraded jacket through this obstacle course, wash it and dry it, and then run it again to see if the jacket performs better. Let's look at the obstacles. Rainy staircase. Tent takedown in the wind and the rain. Putting a rain fly on a tent in a downpour. 30 seconds on the Pacific Northwest log scramble. And finishing with the humidicycle. All right, cool. Let's do this thing. Kira, yeah, so let's go. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Wait, hold on. 3, 2, okay. 1. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was terrible. Ah, my face isn't waterproof. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh man. This is like well, running stairs in the rain. But... Okay, next! Okay. Whoa! No! Wait! Alright! Body shield! Ah. Why do you use guidelines, people? If you have ever been stuck in a windstorm taking a tent down, you know this feeling. Oh, oh buddy. Oh, mama. Oh, slow down, Bessie. Easy does it. Oh, my God, my arm is so cold. We're just starting. We're just starting. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's cold. Oh no. Oh, my back is very cold. Oh no. That looks fine. It's probably right. Oh my god, look at the sleeves. Oh god, I buckled the wrong one. Sorry, excuse my language. Oh, this is the worst. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, no time. And we're done. Log scrambles. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> Got stuck. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, good. All right, bike. I'm going. All right, last one. My head is very wet. What the f Oh my god. This is insane. I'm sorry, Gore-Tex, but there's no fucking way that this jacket's coming back. Because I am cold. I am wet. My butt is really wet. This is an instance where I would just give up on this rain jacket. like when you run a rain obstacle in a destroyed Gore-Tex jacket. I am soaking wet. Well, I feel soaking wet. I actually don't know if I am wet on the inside. But I'm sweaty. I'm hot. I'm very uncomfortable. I just catch my breath really fast. So if this was 
an actual like rainy day where I was out hiking or backpacking, I would definitely feel like this jacket had just failed me. Um, honestly, I feel like at this point it'd be better to just not even be wearing this thing because it's just, it's like sitting on my skin. So now the next step is to wash and dry this and then it will be revived and back to being a good old Gore-Tex jacket. Let's do it. You saw me degrade the DWR. It completely wetted out. I was super uncomfortable. And now it is time to wash this and dry it and hopefully bring it back to life. I have here a tech wash, just like a technical wash for my jacket, but you can also just use regular liquid laundry detergent. Let's wash it. Follow the instructions on your jacket. So all I've done is put my jacket in the washing machine on the normal cycle with some of that liquid detergent and it should be as easy as that. Jacket should be cleaned after this and then go into the dryer and we'll be done. So now it's just a matter of waiting for that. Probably should have washed this shirt too. Jacket has been washed. Now it is time to dry it. This is important. Do not forget it. Okay. The degraded jacket has been washed, it has been dried, and now it's time to put it to the real test. And we'll see how it does on the obstacle course tomorrow. And we're back. Day two, dried jacket. Time to run the obstacle course again. Go. All right, my old friend, the stairs. This isn't that bad. Actually, it's a pretty hot day, so this feels nice. I like don't hate this right now. You're doing great, Miguel, keep it up. Yesterday, after like two times over the stairs, I was completely wet, but now you can see I'm totally dry. My pants are definitely gonna get wet, but they're not Gore-Tex. All right, one more. Oh, I'm tired from yesterday. Okay, we're done. Okay. Oh golly! Okay. Alrighty. Alright, this is why you stake your tents, people. I am taking down this tent in this rainy, windy day. Obviously, completely fake. My second least favorite obstacle yesterday. Are you guys even spraying water? Barely. If you've ever gotten caught in a windstorm before when you don't have a rain jacket and it's raining, it's really miserable, but this jacket is doing great. It feels really nice, actually. Very refreshing. Still feeling dry, but this is only the second obstacle. You guys are doing great. Thanks for being here. All right, and we're good. Okay, here we are. Let's try and get this rain fly on before the rain starts. It's a little late for that. So if you live in the Pacific Northwest or any really rainy place, you've probably also been in situations like this where it's like a beautiful day and then all of a sudden it's pouring rain. You're trying to put your rain fly in your tent. <sighs> Sweet. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. You see that? Nice job, jacket. I'm having a better day today than yesterday. And I don't hate my life. Where are you? There you are. Wow, I feel completely dry. Are you kidding me? And done. Good job, Gore-Tex. Good job, Liv. That one got my crotch good. Oh, so drippy. Oh, wow. That's cool. Do a job, Gore-Tex. So this is one of those obstacles where if you do this often enough, eventually you're gonna abrade the waterproofing on your jacket. It'll soak in but it's still working really well, which is awesome. Ugh. Okay, all right, last one. Thank you. This is my least favorite one last time. Ooh, it is balmy in here. Full on wet butt. It actually feels pretty nice. Look at my 
look at that jacket. Oh, look at it go. Oh, whoa. <gasps> wow. Have you seen this? <laughs> look at it. Look, I know that tower vertex is supposed to work, but still, to see it in action is really cool. Wow, so beautiful. I think we should just do the obstacle course again right now. We're done. Oh, we're done. Okay. Oh, God, sorry. Okay. Holy crap. Wow, I'm dry. <laughs> Man, look at that water just beat up. This is how Gore-Tex is supposed to perform. As you saw, I completely destroyed this jacket and then yesterday was soaking wet and very uncomfortable and very miserable. But today, after a quick wash and dry, this jacket is totally dry. And I probably could have run this obstacle course like a dozen times without a problem. I totally get it that if you have a jacket that wets out, you spent a lot of money on, you're probably gonna feel like the product failed and you're maybe gonna lose your faith in Gore-Tex. But as I showed, all it takes is a good wash and a dry and then your jacket should be all revived and ready to go. Now's the part where I say, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and I will see you all in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Thanks for watching. Have a nice night.